Good morning and welcome to our benefits prayers. My apologies for the slightly late delay. I got a bit held up in setting the equipment up today, but it's lovely to have you joining me once again for our benefits prayers here from the rectory. Great news on the um, vaccine front today from um, the AstraZeneca vaccine that has now been approved. So for your personal prayers, I'd like you simply to give thanks for the technology and the research assistants and everybody working in the pharmaceutical industry. Give thanks for their endeavours, give thanks for their ingenuity and give thanks for the good that they will produce as a result of the product that has come onto the market today. So I'm asking you to pray for all those involved in research, all those involved in the technology, all those involved in the pharmaceutical in industry and especially for those who will be the recipients of that new vaccine. And so today we move on to our benefits prayers. Let us pray. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness, and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives, that our eyes may see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead, and courage to know the truth that sets us free, that our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. We say together at the canticle, Jesus, Saviour of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God speaks to his people through the prophet Isaiah. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. We say together, God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Be exalted, Lord above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nation under your care, and guide us in justice and truth. Let your way be known on earth, your saving power among all generations. Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Guide those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection, as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of Christ shine in our hearts. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for our benefits prayers today, and I look forward to you joining me once again tomorrow morning at 10am if you're able to do so.
For your personal prayers today, please, of your goodness, um, say a prayer of thanksgiving for the vaccine that has just been released within the UK and approved for use. And pray for those, the, all those people who are anxiously waiting the time when the vaccine will be given to them. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. God bless, have a good day, and I will see you at 10 tomorrow morning. Goodbye.